Well, the first thing to do is to be able to learn how to be aware that your herd has lameness. So we need to teach farmers the mobility scoring system that has been set up internationally. And we need to give people the time to bring in some experienced people to train them and teach them how to find these cattle first. There's five causes of lameness. One is, first off, we have biomechanical issues due to overgrowth, so they're a bit of a clumsy walk. But there's no pain involved. The next one we want to deal with is biomechanical injury. So we have overgrowth that does cause pain. So we get cows that have overstretched ligaments, toe hunt, they get ulcers, heel cracks. The next one is infectious, which is digital dermatitis, or we may have foot rot which is the most common problem we have to deal with in today's dairy industry. And the last one, of course, is upper or non-hoof injury. So we get a cow that accidentally is bumped or hit and her hip goes out and her stifle. So the cow is lame, but it's not a foot injury, it's simply an, an injury. Cows that calve, they can get a pinched nerve from calving. So we separate those things to teach people A, that's the type of lameness. B, then we can deal with how the lameness needs to be treated. The second thing that we need the farm to do is to engage in some safety protocols. And if we can get them to do their own self-management between hoof trimmer visits or take care of their own cows, they have to understand safety. So as you can see, we need people to understand that when you're working with tools, even a simple knife, you've got to understand when you're digging into a cow's foot, you can pop a stone out and it can come up and hit you in the eye. Forget a power tool. A knife can do damage as well. Sometimes if you're using a nipper, you can cut a long toe and you go and all of a sudden you'll snap a hard tie, stall calf foot, can come back and hit you in the eye. My favorite one was actually educating somebody and I was 10 feet away and I got lazy and I thought, I'll just watch. Didn't have my face shield on. Sure enough, guess what happened? She turned on the grinder and I got it right in the nose and cut my nose. <clears throat> so safety is the next thing we have to deal with. How to set up equipment, how to set up an area for processing cattle, even on simple terms, it can all be done. Uh, animal handling is very simple. Cows do not understand people. But they do understand gates. They understand pathways. And with patience, you can learn this. The third thing we have to deal with is to understand the economics of this. So what we want to do, nobody has ever lost money on having healthy-footed cows. But lameness does have an economic cost to the farm. The problem we're dealing with is that in many cases people are nagging farmers over their lameness issue rather than showing them there's money to be made and fixing it. So on an average well-run farm, and we'll use 100 cows as an example, if 10% of the cows are lame, which is well within the requirements that we want to see, timely intervention, the farm can make almost $5,000 a year fixing those cows. At a cost, of likely about 12 hours to 14 hours of labor. That's how fast the return on investment is, is if you are trained with the right equipment, safely, and timely intervention, will take care of your cows. So those are the three things we need to learn. So the ultimate principles here are patience to learn, prudence to use it, and perseverance to maintain the discipline of doing it over and over again. So the cycle is prevention, not lameness.